Aaron Mercer is now our new number one contender for the new Texas Pro Heavyweight Championship, but he has a tough task from here tonight at Dallas 41 as Aaron Mercer is about to go one-on-one -on -one with the man known simply as Khan. Absolutely, big debut here for New Texas Pro. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Minneapolis, Minnesota, Weighing in at 237 pounds, he is one-third of the Ring of Honor six-man tag team champions. He represents Shane Taylor Promotions. This is Khan! specimen there, Sammy. Five ladders for New Texas Pro on November 27th. Win or lose or draw in this contest, but what would it mean for a superstar the caliber of Khan to get into win over the number one contender here at New Texas Pro? Oh, it's huge. Does Mercer roll on or, or is this the wrath of Khan, right? What do we got? We're about to find out. Two elite competitors here at New Texas Pro. Again, Khan to make it a name for himself as part of Shane Taylor promotion. You saw him coming out with that six-man tag team championship in Ring of Honor. Do not count him out as a single competitor. Khan is one of the most devastating superstars in all pro wrestling. Oh, absolutely. And you, you asked the question, right? And, and you, you made the statement, no matter what, Aaron Mercer has the title shot coming up. But this is professional wrestling and momentum matters, right? I mean, Khan, who I, you know, I mentioned was uh, from Minneapolis, Minnesota, represents Cameroon, West Africa. He has a very rich lineage in African history. His great grandfather was a tribal king, and he wants to bring that that pride of his family heritage here to the New Texas Pro. And I mean, a win over someone the caliber of Aaron Mercer, what would that say? Oh, absolutely. Oh, he didn't put his head on the pillow last night thinking about losing this match. You know what I mean? He, in his mind, he's winning this sucker. He's walking away with it. Both superstars is feeling out process here. I guarantee you, you know, Aaron Mercer has different ideas and different plans here for tonight. And that brutal ladder match we saw once up earlier against Gina Medina. That issue is finally settled. But no rest for the weary here. Aaron Mercer on the long road to that championship matchup here. Well, and, and here's the thing, too. Where, where do they go with this, right? Um, if, the, if this goes into more of the, the mixed martial arts hybrid style, right? 
Khan, Khan is from Shane Taylor Promotion. Shane Taylor is a very good fighter, um, understands prize fighting. I'm sure he, he's coached in that area. Oh, of know? course. I mean, uh, uh, Khan has versed in so many different variations of styles. I mean, he comes from the uh, back of very traditional wrestling, which is called Wasula uh, from his native village uh, in Africa. And it is a form of professional wrestling that focuses on, on strength, power, and slam. So you know that that combination, that technical style that Khan is putting on display here, combined with uh, that upper body development, that strength that he shows, but is even that going to prepare him for... There you see the mind games already from Aaron Mercer just it, slapped right to the face. And that is all awesome. That is all amazing. But what I am excited about is to see Khan tested in new ways. I want to see what Aaron Mercer and fighting Aaron Mercer pulls out from this, this young man, who, who's clearly a supreme athlete in and of himself. Got the knuckle lock here going. And Mercer goes for the headlock. Yep. Right for the headlock. You know, Khan, a lot of uh, controversy, of course, bring of honor lately, where the future lies. Khan find a home here at New Texas Pro. You can earn a lot of favors, or maybe a lot of disservice with our New Texas Pro faithful if he's able to put away Aaron Mercer here. I mean, Aaron Mercer, one of our most popular superstars. And now you see Khan thro throwing that disrespect right back in Aaron Mercer's face. Yeah, true, but Khan is thinking one of two things. Either, hey, I can be one of the most popular superstars here too, or screw you, I don't care what you think of me, I can be a champion. You know what I mean? And Khan already showing that he can adapt to any style here. So Aaron Mercer dictating the pace early on, but Khan returning that style back. He goes. Oh, very nice. And again, cool, calm, and collected is Aaron Mercer there. Yeah, but I'm not sure Khan's going to be so cool, calm, and collected after that. I mean, Khan getting fired up here. He basically just got showed up in the middle of the race. This might not be a good strategy from the number one contender, though he just takes Khan over with a side headlock there. Yeah. Rolls through here, traps the arm. Oh, here's a pin cover. Getting that big dot body stacked up on top of itself. Good idea. Mercer trying to get in the head of Khan here. And that's exactly what a win by Khan here will do to Mercer. Mercer will have to spend the next two weeks coming off a loss thinking, am I actually ready for this title match? I mean, that's what they like. I mean, Khan can earn himself, you know, uh, super. Oh, here's another roll up. We got a two count. I don't want to call it a superficial number one contendership, but if Khan's able to defeat Aaron Mercer, and Aaron Mercer would go on to become the new Texas Pro Champion, you got to believe that Khan has already would earn himself a shot at that championship. He's next in line, right? Whereas if Mercer wins... Ah, and there's a big chop. If Mercer wins, the only thing he's focused on is going in, you know, beating whoever the champion is, whether it be Brian Keith or Calvin Tankman. We'll figure out that business here in the main event. You know, if he loses here, there's a lot in the back of his mind. You know, Khan's still coming from him. If he loses, he's one step back, you know. These two go blow for blow. And you see Khan almost frustrated that Aaron Mercer. And there you see shades of Kenta Kobashi with those rapid-fire chops in the corner. I was thinking Kojima, but you know. I'm more of a Kenta Kobashi fan myself. But Kojima, regardless, regardless of who it's an homage to, those chops are vicious, those chops will take you right out of this contest. Sometimes the bravado and the ego of these superstars get the best of them. Oh my God! Right across the back. And to, tonight it's Aaron Mercer, right? It's an homage to himself. Khan just dropped Aaron Mercer back first with that top turnbuckle, fell all the way to the outside. The referee already beginning his count. And now new things start to creep in his mind. You know, what, what happens if I get injured here? You know, what happens if, if I just, uh, you know, I just picked up a vertebrae injury. Khan is not going to settle for a count out victory here, going to the outside. Throws Mercer's face first of that apron on the side of the ring. And give, give Khan credit here. It opened up, and now he's attacking it. Face first, right into the ring post. These two have got to get back in Khan. Yep, there, was a in. Um, there was literally a count out here earlier. Huh? Got to be aware of that count. Again, Khan rolls out, rolls out, breaks that count again. Just like that, Khan is a complete yeah, Mercer. Yeah, Mercer. 
Mercer has been 100% on the defensive since that turnbuckle, uh, you know, since he hit his back on that turnbuckle. Yeah, Mercer kind of came into this. I'm not going to say that he was underestimating Khan, but you got to believe that there was a little bit of a back and forth there where Aaron may be looking forward, looking beyond tonight. He's got a cover there. Can't look past a man with the caliber and the experience of Khan. I mean, but that's just human nature, right? I mean, the match was going in his favor. Things were going his way. He was starting to roll. One second, one slip up, and that back fell right against that turnbuckle. And look at where we're at now. It's the kitchen sink and another one. He's fighting for his life in there now. His knees right to the solar plexus. Working through that midsection. And Khan, oh my God, big senton. Khan is rolling now. Again, a two count. Focusing all that on the lower back and the sternum. Baron Mercy was again rolling to the, to the under the, the bottom see, rope. Khan should stay on top of him. Khan had a good thing going. Khan should stay right on top of him. Don't give him any space to get together. Aaron Mercer is one of the toughest SOBs that I have ever seen in my life. Yeah, that's the confidence of a man with Khan, who is a complete control here. This has got Aaron Mercer conceivably right where he wants him, tangled up in the ropes here. Yeah, shoot, shoot those forearms. No, wait a minute, <laughs> Aaron Mercer. Playing possum. He's only got a five count, but that's enough to start to turn this around. Yeah, well, only four seconds, but I mean, the damage has been done. Kind of see him gripping that arm yep. there. And now there's space. Now he can work. Going for almost a neck breaker, but then grabbing that arm again. Yeah, he's going to try to rip that arm out of the socket. He's going to try to force him down almost in that Fujiwara arm bar. And just like that, Aaron Mercer in control. Khan desperately needs to get to the rope break. Finally does force Aaron Mercer to let go of that arm bar. And you see Khan on the outside gripping at that arm. The damage has already been done here. And this gives a bit of a breather here for Aaron Mercer to kind of collect himself after the damage done to that his back off of that turnbuckle here. And, and we're really seeing when the chips are down, where does Aaron Mercer go? He goes back to the submission wrestling. He goes back to the catch and sketch can wrestling. And here comes Khan! Oh my god. Cover hooks the far leg! Like the Genesis missile, I thought it had wiped him out. Just like that, Khan took it up a notch. Big explosive offense, high impact. Now Mercer looks like he doesn't even know where he's at. Ripper trying to get him out of that rope. Saying he can continue here. Face lock on. Referee right there. Again, he knows that he's injured. He's to keep Aaron Mercer grounded here. He can come up with his next move here. Those are, those are big arms. But there it is, right there. Right back to that arm. God, now the strikes. strikes yep. Aaron Mercer. Oh, pack of foul driver. driver. Go! Oh, dropped him right across that injured arm. Only two. Nobody he holds on. on. He holds he on, on, the on the arm. Is that a tap? It's the referee right checking. It's the referee, referee checking. Referee he's got the. Face. Is that the double wrist lock? Yeah, he's got the double wrist lock down there, lower on the arm. Tom well, rolls through, out of it still. but that may put the pressure back on the wrist. Yep, rolls through here. God. Technique, Mercer. Very nice, control. beautiful technique. <laughs> keeping that arm bar, keeping that hyperextension going. Oh! oh Khan is his, out. His AC joints in the third row, man. He just need him right in the uh, right in the shoulder. He may have broken his damn shoulder. Now wait a minute, wait a minute. See, this is where he got this is where he got caught up before. This is where I mean, we saw what Mercer could do in that ladder match. I hope this Mercer is, going up the top yeah, row here. Yeah, hopefully not shades of the Stardust Prust here. Come on. Yep, come oh. on, man. Keep it grounded. That's where you're uh, you're winning on the ground. Just keep it on the ground. That 7-10 split from Aaron Mercer. Not where he wants uh, to be. That, that is a big, a strong man that has you basically dead in the water. Both men up on the top row. This is not good. This is not good. Oh, my God. Oh, jockeying for position Con here. Going back up to Both the men top up top. Dynamite. Holy like smokes. Super flex. But the arm, the arm's keeping him from being able to capitalize. Cover! 
go! Two good Elvin transitions! Fork on the leg! Half, <clears throat> all that pressure half on the Boston, back! Half Boston Crab! Will Mercer tap out? Referee's right there. It is in the center of the ring. Is the number he, one contender going to give up? And he could not be further from any of the ropes right now. He is dead center of the ring. Mercer's got a long way to go, but no, he tries to transition Very out. nice, very nice. Still has the knee. Going oh, now stomping and look, on that arm. At the, at the shoulder joint. Driving the heel of his foot into the shoulder joint. Very nice. That was the only way he escaped was by pure technique. Aaron Mercer, I, I really thought he was going to be caught there. Oh, again, catching the arm. He set him up. Either Gotch pile driver. Khan. Oh, hold on. But is he, does, he have the strength? With that arm. does he have the strength with Struggling that left with arm? That arm? There's a lot of strength in that body, though. Jack that pin! Oh my goodness, look at that. Just, on, just barely rolls the shoulder. Ben, There's the bridge. Now? Not enough strength. The arm is tanked. He's easy, wisely. Khan rolling up that right shoulder, letting his right shoulder do all the work. His left arm, might, the damage might have been done. Now rolling yeah. into the top position here. I think that's absolutely what you're seeing. He's used to being able to bridge out of that. But that shoulder joint and that arm have taken a beating. And Aaron Mercer controlling those oh. arms. Oh, and, and holds on to it. <clears throat> He's got to get to the ropes. The only way is to get to the ropes here. He's in the middle of the ring. Tries to position it. Yeah, positions it up. We got Hold a pinning combination pinning. here. When he let go of it, he let go of the arm to get out of the pin. Come right in that midsection. Oh, wow. Has him up. Has enough strength to get him up there. Oh. Drops him down on the knees. Can he follow up though? He's got to be able to follow up. Has too much been taken out of Khan there. You see he's not able to capitalize. Wasting precious seconds here. Finally drapes for the cover. Hooks the far leg. Barely, barely, barely able to get that shoulder up. These two men are spent. These men are throwing everything they can at each other. So much of the line here on New Texas Pro Live on IWTV. Both men are up. Khan, Aaron Mercer. Khan goes for the splash. Right. Mercer moves out of the way. Got the turnbuckle. Ah, kick right to the temple. Khan collapses in the corner. Mercer repositioning him. going up top. We're trying to go for something big here. We're trying to go for something high impact. I'll tell you what, high risk Mercer gives me heartburn. Now this is not good all hooking. Oh, butterfly hooking lock here. Arm. This is not good for Khan. He's able to break free. The strong arm was able oh, to break free. No, 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 no. Oh, oh my God. Shit. I have never seen that before. Alabama slam for the top. Oh, oh Mercer only kicks gets out at one. one. Only got a one. Mercer kicks out at one. And Mercer. Defiant, shaking off every blow after blow Khan's throwing at him. The toughest son of a bitch I have ever seen in my life. The throwback, showing why he's the number one contender. Showing why he might be the next New Texas Pro Champion, but now Khan drops him down. Cover again. Now again, Mercer's able to kick he broke out. his damn neck. I thought he broke his damn neck. God, these two are throwing everything they have at each other. Khan's got to think of what do I have to do to put Aaron Mercer away. <laughs> Referee starts his count. I will tell you this, win, lose, or draw, right or indifferent, Khan is an amazing addition to the Texas wrestling scene. He's an amazing addition to the new Texas roster, I will tell you that right here. Connect those like the three amigos transition that vertical suplex into a German. And here, maybe going yeah, for right half here. and half. Half Nelson suplex. And the beauty of that is the other arm is the arm that he's been working on. 
So that shoulder makes contact with the mat. It drives the AC joint again into the mat. And no wasted mo movement from Aaron Mercer. He knows exactly what he's doing. That's why he was able to secure a shot at the new Texas, uh, Texas Pro Championship. I'll tell you this, constantly sleeping with that bag of peas on his shoulder tonight, you know what I mean? Aaron Mercer again, this cannot be good strategy. Aaron going again up top. Khan is down, Iris punching Mercer. that arm. Now Aaron is gotta be the frog splash now. A tribute to the late great Eddie Sam Guerrero. Big splash he hit off all the top. Him. Only two, only two. A legend in Texas wrestling was Eddie Guerrero who lost 16 years ago today. Aaron Mercer showing tribute, but even Aaron Mercer still not able to put away Khan. Khan again finds himself on that top turnbuckle. What is Aaron Mercer looking for here? Locked up. He's been known to do that that Tower of London maneuver before. Half the thing he was thinking. Oh, no, wait a minute. That's just a straight choke. Almost a choke referee trying to get in there. He's in there. God, you can see how pink Mercer's yeah, face is already getting. The arm is on the rope here. Referee checking, checking in on Mercer. This might be up to the referee. Oh, Mercer has him. Wait a minute. Has him hit oh. it. Rolls over and grabs the arm there. That's Very it. nice. What a war. What a damn war. Here is your winner, Aaron Mo.